Hi, I'm going to demonstrate for you the concept of fundamental and overtone. On this, the grand piano, we have 88 keys, and that's considered to be the range of notes that the human ear can hear comfortably. Pretty much all from the lowest to the highest. To um, show you though, when you play a note, any kind of note, you're actually hearing a series of fundamental pitch and overtones with that pitch. And to help demonstrate that, I'm going to show you a little experiment. If you look down, and you see these little dampers that lift up. Okay, that means every time I hold a note down, or any kind of note, these things come up. And as long as I hold the key down, it stays up. So, what I'm going to do though, to kind of demonstrate this, is I'm going to play one note, starting with this low C. And I'm going to have you listen, and hear how if you play the note and you play it short, it, the damper goes up, the hammer hits the string, and it comes back down. Well, what happens is, here's what happens when, when we have a one of the notes as part of the overtone series being held out. If you look at my hands here, I'm going to, this is the low C. I'm going to actually play an octave higher middle C. That's part of the low C overtone series. But instead of holding it down, I'm actually just going to rest it there. And now I'm going to play the note short, and I want you to listen to what happens. Can you hear the pitch? The pitch is reverberating, okay? It's the overtone. And we can expand on this further. The next note in the overtone series for this low C would be a middle C, and then there's G above that. So if I hold these two down without letting them ring, the strings are exposed. Now you have two pitches. Let's do it further. Let's do G, then C above that, and then E above that. hear them. Now when I do this with students, they sometimes say to me, well, you're just hearing, Mr. Miguel, you're just hearing the ringing of the strings, which there is a little bit of that no matter what you do. But here's what I showed them then. I said, oh, I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to play a cluster. I'm going to push it all down. I'm going to do that nice and slow. Okay, and let's see what happens when I do it again. Here we go. You're hearing primarily just the overtone series. And you can do this on any note. I do a G below this, and I go, my hand's a little stretchy here, but if I put those four notes down as part of that overtone, that actually comes out even, because the strings are longer, that actually comes out even more richer, okay? So that is the overtone and fundamental series, and thank you for watching.